X1 come back 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 If you don't know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to say this X1 come back X1 come back X1 come No X1 please come back please X1 please please come back please 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 so yeah, uh, we've all seen it, we've all been seeing it, uh, it looks like X1 is going to be disbanding and uh, it sucks doesn't it? It really, really sucks, doesn't it? Like man, they've gone through so much shit and they didn't even deserve it and I they really, they just don't deserve it. I don't understand why X1 are the ones getting blamed for this when it's not even their fault. It's the terrible people above. It's like, why why blame the innocent when it's obviously the other people that actually did it? I feel like X1 and Eyes1, they should be free to do what they want, man. They should, they, they should not be getting attacked like this. And it sucks. It really sucks because Eyes One, man, they were they, they were about to release like an album. They were gonna have a comeback, and then bam, just like that, cancelled. It, they it wasn't allowed to drop. You know what they could have done? They could have at least just dropped Eyes One's new album and cancelled promotions. I can understand. Well, I don't really understand, but for the moment when it came out, when it was like real big and like that, everyone was getting hate, and I don't understand why, we could have still at least gotten Eyes One's music, you know? We still could have, they still could have at least gave us the gift of hearing their new music. It's, it's not that hard, is it? To just think of the right choices? No, it's not. But I, I guess it's, it's, and when it comes to all this stuff, mm -hmm, yes, 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 that money is what it's all about, which sucks, man. Why do people care about money more than they care about people's feelings and stuff? Like, heck, like X1, they, all of them are freaking awesome. I, I really just wanted to continue making X1 videos, but I'm not sure if we, if I will be able to. And it really, really sucks because the videos that I made on X1, no jokes, were some of the most favorite videos I've actually made on this channel. They were unique. They were fun. They were fun to make. They were fun to edit. You know, that it was just fun to think of all these ideas and now like i don't know it sucks it really sucks but i'm starting to see on twitter all these uh trends for x1 to come under another label and all that stuff and i really wish this would happen you know we, we need a jbj we need a jbj like imagine if we got x1 but it's the second half of their contract so they're able to work with their company and then they're also able to do the x1 stuff if we got that under a new entertainment company or something like that that would be epic like we still get new x1 music we still get x1 shows we still get all this stuff but then they also get to do stuff with their groups because it would be hard like i'm not gonna lie it would be hard for them because of how the higher ups have you know treated this situation it sucks i don't know i i really just wish everything good happens for x1 in the future and that all those members get to smile uh, soon and all that stuff because I feel like we will pull it off. I feel like if us won it and other K-pop fans, you know, we should all unite to try and get X1 to be JBJ, the next JBJ because these guys didn't deserve this. Everyone should know that. These guys didn't deserve it. So if we all work hard, we could get X1 to come back as a new group. Z2 <laughs> That would be the name Z2 <laughs> Yo, who do you stand? I stand Z2 <laughs> Or Z2, however you want to say it Z2, we love you Annyeonghaseyo But it's awesome I'm, I'm not gonna lie It's awesome seeing all this support for X1 In the trends Through everything that's actually happening in the world right now You know, we got so many terrible things happening right now But the One of the good things I've been seeing Is, you know, the K-pop trends Just like being up there showing that you know us k-pop fans we really care about you know the idols that we love and just saying right now new x1 understand uh, understand underscore support 
is between both of the Iran and US stuff and it's awesome it's awesome seeing that you know the support for them is just this strong because we're all scared about this war not gonna lie we're all scared about this war that's happening and or about to happen and we just got people caring more about these idols and that's freaking awesome and i reckon if we keep this up for a long time i reckon we could do it we, we we could get them to come back and i'm guessing they'll have to have a contract like the second half of what their contract is for x1 you know like being in both both uh groups you know i feel like i do feel like that is the best thing even though i'd love to see them just promote as x1 for a few years i think what would be best is if they do X1 and also be part of the other group just so it's not as hectic for um, the companies, you know? Okay, okay, so I just thought of another idea for if they actually went with this contract or if it, this does happen. What they could do for when it comes to a concert, they could do the X1 concert and then they could have also the groups that they promote with. Imagine if you had Up Teaching and Victon and then also all their solo stages as well. Uh, if they also do self-promotion when they're not promoting with X1. Imagine if they did all of that for a concert. That would be a legendary concert the money that they'll make from that would be insane and they could keep the you know the whole thing going because you got to think about it the companies have gone through a lot as well and i don't know i feel like we could do it i feel like we can make x1 come back throughout hard work and dedication heck we could probably make an entertainment company if we all put in money holy crap have you seen how much money the k-pop community puts into stuff we could probably make a freaking company for x1 i don't know how but the power of the K-pop community is strong that we could make that happen, you know? It sucks seeing all this stuff happening to X1 and Eyes1. It's good how Mnet are no longer doing survival shows because I, I've known for since the second produce season because I didn't really watch the first one. I really got into it during the second one uh, when I just, you know, discovered what the, the series was because I, um, yeah, I just listened to IOI when they debuted. I didn't really watch their show, but then when it came to 101 or Produce Season 2, I was able to tell it was rigged from that season, you know? Like, how the hell did Samuel not make it in? How the hell did, um, oh god, I forgot everyone's names, but you know, like, just like so many people that should have made it in didn't. And we all knew it was rigged like we're, everyone tweeting out mnet snakes you know it's been happening for years we all knew it was a thing but we didn't think it would affect x1 that much when the public actually realized it i don't know it sucks it really sucks but yeah uh thank you guys all for watching this video uh that will be all let's try and get x1 to come back we can do it <laughs> we got the power x1 come back we can do that and yeah thank you guys all for watching hopefully you guys have a great day i want to see min he's smiling he's my bias well i want to see them all smiling they're all freaking amazing so let's do this let's do this for them peace